How's it going everyone? Jacob here. I'm going to teach you five easy licks on the keyboard and I've got my Hammond organ sound queued up for this one. Now if you're like me, I was a pianist first, so playing the Hammond organ, playing this B3 sound is something I assimilated. Used my ears, figured out how to do it. Now, this instrument is not a Hammond organ. These draw bars are LED and you can get some nice sounds on this, but what's really important is playing in a way that sounds like it's meant for the instrument. And one of the big things, one of the things that sound great is with the Leslie on fast, so this is slow. So that was slow to fast is the big old gliss, that big Hammond gliss that we've all heard. That's the sound, right? Like, if you can just do that, a lot of people will go, oh man, you really know how to play the organ. And it's because it sounds great and it's, it's idiomatic of the instrument. So the lick I'm doing right now, it's, it's hardly a lick, it's more a device, but it's something you should know how to do. So basically, I'm just starting with my left hand, pretty low, probably around here, and glissing up to a note, usually a high one. Sometimes you can go up to a chord. Now, if I was going to do this in time, maybe I'll just pick kind of a medium-ish tempo. So you want to time your gliss, too. You just don't want to start at any time. So if it's one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one. like that. So this is a great device. Again, this is something that sounds really good on the instrument. And you can use this kind of sound in a lot of ways. You can get real percussive with it. So I'm not thinking about what I'm playing here. It's just, it's kind of just like ham fisting the keyboard. Something like that. For this next lick, we're going to be in C major, similar to the last one. And this one's going to be chordal based. And I'm going to incorporate the gliss idea again, but we're going to add this chord lick at the end. There's a couple ways you can do it, but here's the basic idea. You have a C major 6 chord, what's called a C major 6. So you have C major, let's add a little more draw bars here. Fatten that up a little bit. You could play it up. And it's C, E, G, and C again, which is C major triad, but with an A added, and that's the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what you're going to do is walk that shape up a sequence of chords. So you're going to go from C6 to D minor seven, to D sharp diminished seven, then back to C6, but an inversion this time. This is similar to a pattern that's very common in jazz, gospel, lots of different playing, which is you take a C6 chord and you alternate with a diminished chord every other chord, and you walk up this scale. But when you start on a C6 chord and you walk up that scale, you get this. But we're doing a slightly different version of that where we go from C6, but we walk straight up the major scale to D minor 7. Then we hit a different diminished chord here, which is D sharp diminished, fully diminished 7, and back to C6. And you'll notice we're doubling the same note at the bottom and the top. So that's our highest voice. That's like our melody here. And then you fill the chords in in the middle. So in time, sound a little something like this.
And I played around with it there, but of course the basic idea, once you have those chords under your hands, you can do all kinds of things with them. You can reverse it back down. So always, when you're practicing these things, practice with a metronome, practice it at a tempo you can play it correctly and consistently before you go faster, and always play around with the rhythm, with the idea itself, and try putting it in other keys. Because you'll find each key is a little bit different and your fingers will have to do something different. I know I run through this stuff all the time because it's easy to kind of, you know, be a little bit lost in a different key because it's going to feel strange whether it's a flat key or a sharp key that has a different geography to it. So never just get locked into playing these things in one key. You got to move it around the keyboard. The next lick is another chordal one and this one is going to incorporate a lot of that gliss stuff but in that more rhythmic kind of percussive way I was talking about. So we're going to stay in C major, but we're going to be C7, so a kind of Mixolydian flat seven bluesy kind of sound. And we're going to take a voicing for a C9 chord, which is a C dominant seven, with a D added, the nine. We're going to play it here. So a closed position voicing, all within an octave. B flat, D, E, and G. And we're gonna do a little playing on the beat, just grooving. This, this lick is really good for just kind of grooving in a solo, or you could use it as a comping thing too. But the off beats and stuff are gonna be with the gliss, so something like this. So the rhythm I'm thinking, so the basic thing is just to get be able to hit that on the beat. Let's do it with the click. <laughs> I can't help myself, I was adding some extra things, but the basic idea is to be able to bump, bump. A little of the variation I added was going a half step underneath. Which is almost like a guitar pattern, comping pattern, but put on the organ. We're playing a B3 sound, let's do something with a gospel flavor to it. This is something I use a lot to evoke that gospel sound. It's very soulful sound and very simple and easy to play. So I've added a couple more draw bars here just for a beefier, more kind of all bar sound. So that's our sound. Now the lick, it's very simple, it's just two triads. E flat major, and I'm playing this inversion here with the fifth and the bass. And then down to F minor, F minor triad. And what you're gonna do is play the inversions of those triads all the way down. So alternating from E flat major to F minor. And when you put them in sequence, it really has a very soulful, gospel-y kind of sound. Now I was adding some things there, which you always will do once you get the basic thing under your hands. So once you've got the triads down, 
which means you need to be able to play every inversion of those triads. Then you can start adding some nice little tricks, some little grace notes and melodic things in there. So it's not just chords, and this is what I was doing. So adding some little rolls and glisses into that. So a lot of it is just doing little, in my left hand, little lead up. So rather than just, it's. Ah, I combined it with the lick from before. There you go. So let's listen to it with the click. And remember, always practice with the metronome. Now for the last one, we're going to go to a jazz inflection that would be used in that genre and related ones because Hammond organ, of course, is famous for rock and blues, gospel players, lots of different genres, but jazz is another place you'll find this wonderful instrument, this sound. Now this lick can be used in all, over a lot of different chords and different sounds, but this time we're going to go with minor. So we're going to stay in C, this time C minor. And the lick is starting really anywhere, but right now we're going to start on the third, the minor third. For this lick, you approach each chord tone, that being each note in the C minor triad, by a half step. So really, you're playing the notes of a B minor triad before each note. So it goes something like this. So you're approaching each note by half step. If I were to just play it by itself, it's just coming down a C minor triad, but with those notes underneath, so D to E flat, B to C, F sharp to G, and then now we're back. And the thing that's cool about this lick, again, is that you can take it up and down the keyboard. You could run entire octaves. You could run three octaves with this. And you can play it down, you can play it up, and it sounds great. Here it is in tempo. Now again, a little bit faster, you can swing it slow, you can swing it fast, it feels good at a lot of tempos. Here it is again. And you saw I changed the rhythm a little bit. Again, something you should do with all of these. Instead of just a do ba do ba do ba do, I did a triplet. Do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba ba do And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions about the licks I played in this video, please put those in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this one, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.